Well, hello everyone again. This is Randy and we're back with another computer lesson on a great way to secure your data on a USB flash drive. Uh, this is one that works under Linux. If you use Windows 10 Professional Edition, you also have a utility called BitLocker that will do the same thing. Uh, but this is one that will work if you're using the free Linux operating system. I've got running right now Linux Mint 19.3, which is running on uh, my main computer in the studio here. And we're going to use a giveaway flash drive. It's not a very big one by today's standards, only about 125 megabytes, not gigabytes, 125 megabytes on this thing. It's one that you pick up at a trade show or people use just to pass out information on. And right now it's uh, formatted for use on just about any system, but we're going to secure this thing. And that way, if I lose this and I have any personal or business information that I don't want in the wrong hands, it won't get there. They'd have to have the password to get into it. So I'm going to plug this in. It's an old drive. Uh, it's also a USB 2.0, so it's not particularly fast. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into a USB 3.0 port on my computer. And I will do that there. And now what we will do is open up our system setup and go down to a utility that comes on Linux Mint called Disks. And so I'll double click that and it will open up this partitioning utility that shows everything I've got on this computer as far as storage. I've got a two terabyte hard drive a Western Digital hard drive that contains my Linux, excuse me, my Windows partitions. You can see those on here. Also, I've got a 500 gigabyte Samsung SSD. Then I've got my EXT4, which is my Linux installation. I can choose which disk to boot from when I turn my computer on. Then I've got a couple of CD drives. One's an external, one's an internal. And then finally, this drive I just plugged in. It's a 120, it says 129. Practically, it's going to be 125 because Linux saves a little bit of free space to give itself room to work so that you don't have any failures. And I could get rid of that uh, at the command line if I wanted to, but I'm going to make this simple. We're using a GUI utility and uh, on the Cinnamon desktop. So there's what we have, and it says free space, uh, and it's uh, on uh, drive SDC, so unallocated space. What we're going to do to this is first we are going to format it. And if it wasn't formatted, then we could do that. I think it is formatted, but we're just going to make sure here. And it doesn't matter really what we format this as at this point because uh, it's got the uh, master boot record DOS uh, system you can choose or GPT for files or rather disks that are greater than two terabytes. And this is a more modern system, but we are going to just leave it there for now in the MBR and format that. And are we sure we want to format it because we're going to lose everything that may be on it? There's nothing on it. So yeah, let's go ahead and format that. And now that is done. We've got the free space here on this. And the next step we want to take is we want to go in here. Well, let me, before I click on that, let's just see, create a partition in the unallocated space, which is the whole drive at this point. Or um, over here we have additional partition options that we can see things that we can do with this. And this is not mounted yet uh, on my system. And it's not formatted, not partitioned, so I really can't use it now other than just a uh, formatted drive. I could mount that, I guess, and store things on it. But I'm going to go ahead and create a partition. And next here I'm going to just go ahead and accept these. The partition size 129 megabytes. And again, that's... a uh, uh, not a very big flash drive, but it will hold quite a few documents. And then no extended partition needed, and I don't really care about free space. So I'm going to say next. Volume name. I'm going to give this volume a name of, uh, let's call it Linux ENC3, because I've already got uh, a Linux encrypted flash drive 1 and flash drive 2, so we're going to name this one 3. Um, and we could say overwrite the existing data. There's none on there. I don't really care about that um, this time anyway. And then here's the choices you have for the type of partition you're going to create. 
You can create an internal disk for use only with Linux, which is what we are going to do. And we're going to check this password protect the volume. Uh, also, we could leave it with an NTFS, new technology file system used by Windows. Or with uh, other devices, uh, we could do a file allocation table or FAT partition and others that we could use. But for this one, we are going to go ahead and use ext4 because we only want to use this with Linux and we want it encrypted. So we're going to say password protect the volume. And we will go next. And now, data stored in the volume will only be accessible with the correct password. So be careful not to forget it. So I'm going to type in a password that I will remember here. And I'll do that right now. And I will put it in again to confirm. And there, this lights up create when they match. I could show them, uh, but hey, I don't want you to know what it is. You don't need to get into this volume. So anyway, we're going to say create. Oh, also, before I do that, look here. You can see uh, the um, uh, strength of your password with this blue bar or whatever color that you have your system using. But it gives you a progress bar that shows you the strength of your password. So I'm going to say create. And there we go. We've got that partition created. It's spinning this little spinner on there to show that it's working. And now we've got Linux ENC3 on there. And that is encrypted and ready to use. So now what I'm going to do is I could just mount it right here. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to just go ahead and pull the plug on that and close that up. Now when I plug this drive in. I should get a prompt for a password and I do so I have choices here too I can have it forget the password immediately I can have it remember the password until I log out of the system and I can remember it forever well I really don't want to do either of those bottom two so I'm going to say forget the password immediately uh, that way once I uh, get out of the system and take the drive with me nobody could come in and just plug it in so I will type my password that I put in here. And now we see this mounts up in the upper right of the screen, Linux ENC3, or Linux encrypted disk number three. We see a lock icon unlocked. We also see in the file manager, the Nemo file manager that I use, uh, it is showing up there and it is mounted. We can tell that because we have a, an eject uh, button here that we can click on to unmount that drive. So there it is. That's all there is to it. And you can store data on here, any private data, personal information, business information, that if somebody gets a hold of your flash drive, they're not going to get in there and see things they shouldn't. Uh, so you keep all of your banking information, your business proprietary information secure on a flash drive that way. And that's it for now, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was informative, and we will see you next time. Bye now.